Okay, everybody. All right, so I have put all of my stuff on my desk. Please excuse my hair. I am homesick. Um, even though I terribly want to go to work, that's horrible. Um, but we're going to we're going to do this little declutter. So I am going to show you what I have in front of me, and we're just gonna kind of get rolling. I just I don't even know where to start to begin with. I, I don't even know where to start. It's overwhelming. I have more than I can ever use here, and I am going to declutter. This is really a declutter video. It's not a collection video. I'm going to declutter and pass this one. So, let's take a look at it. Excuse me while I... Ah! That is horrible. That is absolutely horrible, isn't it? Okay. So, we'll try and focus like more on the stuff and less on me. There's stuff everywhere. And I know I don't have this camera level. I'm trying. Okay. So first of all, I am, there's this one thing that's closest to me. It's just a little uh, acrylic container from, um, who is this? Who is it from? It's Allegory, I'm pretty sure. But we're going to take a look. So the first thing I have is this highlighting powder from uh, Wet n Wild. It was, I think, I can't remember what it was from. It says Crown of the Canopy. Um, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. I don't need it. Um, I don't know that I would ever use it, so, we just gonna start to get rid of some stuff. <laughs> um, I have the gold bar from Wet n Wild. We're gonna get rid of this because I haven't even opened it and I don't need to open it. I have the candlelight glow from, um, from Too Faced. I'm gonna hang on to this because I did use this. Um, it was one of the first things I had. So then I have my Gilded Honey, of course, from Laura Geller. We'll, we'll get rid of that. That's fabulous. That is fabulous. That is fabulous. Fabulosity. Then I have my So Hollywood Illuminator from, from ABH. I'm going to hang on to that. And then I have... The Spotlight Pearl Palette. I think this was the Casey Holmes one. This is from um, Smashbox. I'm going to get rid of this because I'm never... I'm just not going to touch it. I have another blush or a blush from... Um, it's called Don't Flutter Yourself from Wet n Wild. I'm going to hold on to this for right now because I don't want to get rid of all my blushes at one time. Oh, I want to make sure I have something of every brand. You know what I mean. I'm trying to look for... Oh, this is my highlighter in Royal Glow. You see it's got the crown embossed on it. Yeah, I'm not getting rid of that. I got it only because of that. It's ridiculous. That girl's ridiculous! Oh. And here. Here's my limited edition Becca Jaclyn Hill... Uh, champagne pop packaging doesn't need to stay in the packaging can go in here what is this this is a Prosecco pop still in the packaging how are you ever gonna use these things if you don't take them out of the packaging that's Prosecco pop put that in here what else do we got oh Look, I found an old favorite, the Mary Luminizer. Mm, we are definitely keeping that. Definitely keeping Mary Lou. Mary Lou. Hmm. Hmm. How do you do? Okay, you did not come here to listen to me. Okay, so the other thing I have is a Wet n Wild limited edition in Midnight Moon. This is like the mermaid collection. It's gonna go. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. It's gotta go. 
It's a setting powder. Mm, that's not going to fit. What is this? It's another Wet n Wild thing I haven't opened. Wet n Wild Rose Champagne. This is a blush. I think I want to keep this blush. This one right here. And I'm going to get rid of this other blush. I'll hold on to that. Hold on to your thoughts, please. Please save all your comments for the end. Um, this is my ABH Amreezy. I'm not getting rid of that. So, that's one of my containers. Ready to go back in the drawer. Highlighters. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's take everything out. I know we've got some stuff from my girl Gina in here. Because I can see it. Alright, so what is this? This is the Becca Mineral Blush. Can't remember which one. This is, I've had this forever. I'm going to keep this. This is a cute little mini. It reminds me of where I came from. Okay, where'd that silly ass thing go that I was going to keep? Alright guys, um, this is the Just Peachy Bronzer. I'm going to keep it. Oh, this is a blush. This might be, this is a blush. This might be a little bit too dark for me. Yeah, I, I'm not into a glowy blush. We're going to get rid of it too. It's alright. This is my Melba from my best, best Vita. I'm going to keep that, of course. And then I have a mocha. I'm going to keep that. It's Mac. 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 Uh, ta, ta, ta. What is this? Uh, this is a blush trio from ABH. This one is... Da -da 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 -da. Pool Party. I just don't know. It's not really my jam. Like, there's one color in here that I like, and we're getting rid of that, too. That's brand new. I never even messed with that thing. Here's a bronzer from Wet n Wild. I think I'm going to hold on to that. Put that over there. Put that over there. Oh! Here is a blush from a Dose of Colors. It's called A Blush Like You Meant It. It's in a little peach color. It's like a matte, a matte peach. I think I will keep that. I will keep it. Yes, I will keep it. I have no idea what I have in here. This is hideous. I'm so embarrassed. I'm so embarrassed. I keep floating around. So different things out of these going. Okay, calm down, Susan. I know it's overwhelming. That's why we're doing this. It's why we're doing this. Do you, oh, I was trying to make sure it was filming. Um, I have a limited edition sugar or syrup blush. It's like a little pastel pink from MAC. We're going to put that in there as well. Because we're going to keep that. Then I have my dandelion blush from... Um, Benefit. I really like that. And I know you guys know what that looks like. You don't need to see it. I also have my California blush from Benefit. We're going to keep that. I have this blush from Pretty Vulgar that we got in a, um, in a boxy charm, I think. I love this. It's fabulous. Fabulous. Um, this is my... My Guerlain Prism blush that cost me a million dollars and it's like the size of an eyeshadow. We're going to hang on to that. Ah! I did not know I had this. Look, it's a little palette. Mm. Put that aside for a second. Let's not get confused with shit. 
Oh my gosh, this is like one of the first blushes I used. This is the Smashbox in Heartbreak. I want to hang on to that. I want to hang on to that. Don't get so sentimental with everything. Then I have a Makeup Revolution blush. And this is in Fusion. I'm going to hang on to that because... I really want to keep, let's see what I have over here, Trouble, that's what I have. This is like the little NARS blush that you get, it, it's a glue, it came as like a perk for being VIP rouge or whatever, I'm like really that's, that's all you got for me. Um, this is, um, a blush from, um, uh, Burberry. It says it's a blush. It's called Night Glow, but it's really a bronzer. For me, it would be a bronzer. So we're not going to do anything with that. Let's see what this is. This is a highlighter. Alright, so there's some blushes. I think we're pretty full up. I know I'm going to find an, oh. Here's a blush I can put in here. Here is my Physicians Formula blush. Actually, it's a highlighter. Silly girl. Silly, silly girl. It's a highlighter. Don't you know anything? Are you new to this game? Aren't you from here? <sighs> I know I have another blush somewhere. I know I do. Because I threw that out. That's a highlighter. That's a highlighter. Um, well, this is a Charlotte Tilbury blush. It's called the First Love Swish and Pop Blusher. If I can open it, I will show it to you. That's what it looks like on the inside. Isn't it so pretty? Now, all my blushes. Not all, but my blushes are in here. Okay, let's focus on bronzers, which seems to be my bigger problem in highlighters. Bronzers and highlighters, we got a problem. Okay, I'm going to take what's in here out so we can see what we're working with. Focus. I'm going to put bronzers in this little basket with some big bronzers like my Tom Ford. And I'm insistent on keeping in the white sleeve. Um, this is in gold dust, but the sleeve is filthy. Like, I need to wash it. Alright, so we're going to put some bronzers in here just because, like I said, I have some really super big ones. Bronzers, that is. I just had one. Oh, my Marc Jacobs because I dropped it on the floor in a tantastic. Another super humongous. Like, those two blushes right there would last me a lifetime. I mean, bronzers. Bronzers! Susan! Susan. I'm doing bronze now. Okay. Then I have this Too Faced. This is the new packaging. And it's just the chocolate gold soule. So, it's got, it's, it's got shimmer in it. Um, I haven't touched it, but I'm not gonna get rid of it. Some things I just can't bring myself to get rid of. Oh, yeah. This is a highlighter. That was not going in there. Oh, this. My Chanel. Hmm. This is the, um, the Soleil Tan de Chanel. I think, I don't even think I've touched it. Look, it doesn't even have the seal off of it. Never touched it. We're keeping it. <clears throat> keeper. She's a keeper. Watch, I'm going to find all kinds of blushes now. Um, this is uh, the Capri Coast from um, Becca. Hold on to this. Set that in there like that. We're going to put the little Burberry one we found in there. Mmm. -hmm. 
somewhere. There you are. Um, this is an old, um, it, it's in Refined Golden, which you can still get from MAC. What the hell? Felt like it was coming out. This is just an old packaging. This is a bronzer as well. It's a bronzer for me. I don't know what it is for you. It's a bronzer for me. I think that's a setting powder. Oh, here's another big. The tantalizer highlighter and, and bronzer. Now look at that bronzer. That is entirely too dark for me. It's really a summertime bronzer. And that just about fills up that package. I'm trying to be logical here in what I'm doing. For somebody like me, that's very hard to do. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get some face powders done. So this one is the Hello Flawless, and it's in Honey. Um, it's a setting. Ooh. Hey everybody, sorry about that, sorry about that. That was a call from work. So, I am down to one, one container and some extras here on my desk. So this is the um, Glowing Pretty Skin Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. It's got some highlighters, some... Uh, a light bronzer, a very light cool tone bronzer in it, and some blushes. Um, I just got this at Christmas. I don't know if it was released this year. I can't remember. Um, then I have uh, the Sleek Highlighting Palette. This is the Solstice one. I just, I can't. I can't keep all this stuff. Susan, you can't keep all this stuff. So this is my Charlotte Tilbury um, Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. This is the Fair Medium one. Um, I do like this palette and I use it, especially now in the winter time, I would use it. But if I had to do it again, I'd probably buy the darker one next time. If I could like go through everything I have like and need something. hate that that I sound that way okay so and I'm sorry that sounds horrible I have this from the Mariah Carey collection with Mac this is my Amimi it's a bronzer I'm gonna stick that over here for now because that's kind of my Mac collection with some a little bit of extras in here here is my a nutcracker with the um it's got an extra dimension a skin finish and an extra dimension blush. The blush is called At Dusk. And the, the highlighter is Tutu. So, we'll figure out a way to put that in here. With my MAC stuff. Let's see, let's see. I have a Givenchy. This is a healthy glow powder, so it's kind of like an all-over face powder. This one is in Moonlight, Moonlight Sesson. I have not used this yet. This is probably really, really good, and I should take it out and use it. Alright, that's a keep. These are a keep. These are a keep. This is the Too Faced powder, the banana powder, the brightening face powder from Candy Johnson. I use this under my eyes. I love it. It's fabulous. This is a highlighter from um, Becca, and it is in do, 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 Pearl Flashes Gold. Here is an Ofra highlighter in Everglow. You can tell I have entirely too much crap. This is a face palette from. Um, this is an ambient face palette. It is a blush palette. It's got surreal glow, luminous flush, and mood exposure. Um, some of these, like this, you probably could use as a bronzer or something like that. I completely forgot I had that. Then I have the um, Bobby to Glow from Bobby Brown. 
This is the highlighting trio, and I think, I think, let's look. I might have one of these in here. It's the same thing. I have a single, but it's not the same. One is like, this one's like pink and pearl. This one's like pink and gold. Yeah, I know, right? Just let it go, Susan. I can't. I'm <clears throat> addicted. All right, so we're hanging on to those. Then I have this Revolution Beauty Skin Kiss. This is in Peach Kiss. This thing is huge. It will last me forever, but I really, 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 really like this highlighter a lot. For a drugstore? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. So I have the Butter Bronzer that Miss Gina sent me. I do love this. But it is special to me. I don't leave it out all the time because Gina sent it to me and, and you know, it's kind of like my blush that, uh, that Bita sent me. All right, so this is the Stay Matte from Rimmel. I love this setting powder. It is like, I always have one. All right, this is, I just did a review on this. This is the Modern Metals Face Palette. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's really nice, but I just don't know that I need it. I'm going to give that away. Um, this is uh, the mineral Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC and Light. Just another setting powder of mine. Um, I have two e.l.f. palettes. I use these when I'm doing um, drugstore looks. One is the Illuminating palette. I'll show that to you. That's what that looks like. And then this is the bronzing palette. It's got... It's, it's awfully, awfully... Um, you know. It has a lot of kick up. It has a lot of kick up. This is new to my collection. This is the Smashbox Holidays Contour and Spotlight Palette. I've used it a couple times. You know, if you have this, I don't know that you really need anything else. But, who am I kidding? Oh my goodness. There's an oldie but a goodie and I won't get rid of her. She's the Bahama Mama bronzer. Love her. Love her. I have an Ofra Trio. This was a holiday set. I could put this ah, if I wanted to. If I, I could uh, put this in a um, Z palette. But it's got Blissful, Pillow Talk, and Rodeo Drive on it. So I'm going to hold on to that. Then I have this is the Charlotte Tilbury 3 Bar, 3 Gold Bar. Set. And I do have the gold, the original bar of gold. So, it's really, not any of them are exactly the same as this bar of gold. It kind of looks like either this one, or maybe even to this one, but it's not the same. It's not the same. And you know me, I have to have everything. Here's another e.l.f. palette I have. This is a dupe for um is it orgasm and and oh, it just slipped my mind oh i can't think of it but there's the bronzer that everybody wants from nars this is a dupe for a nars and even kind of have a nars feeling to the palette and that sounds bizarre um i have a makeup revolution blush it's just too it's just too pinky glittery for me. So I'm going to pass that on as well. Um, I have this from the Smashbox Lada collection. This right here. It's a highlighter. It is in Petal Metal. I'm going to hang on to that. I have another MAC. This is my Warm Rose. I use this as a setting powder as well. And you can see I've loved it. It's kind of flattened out there. Because I love it. 
I try to keep all my Mac stuff in one place. I don't know why it's all over the place all of a sudden. But we're going to fix that in one minute. Um, I have this mini blush and glow from Natasha Denona. Um, it's perfect size. I don't need the big ones. This is just perfect for me. And I do enjoy that as well. Um, I have a Kat Von D. I think I showed this to you. Or I was playing with it when I was on the phone and took a break where the camera cooled off. This is my Kat Von D um, Locket Setting Powder um, in Light. So that's everything that's kind of laid out here on my desk. I do have other stuff, I think, in here. A couple of other things. Just a few. Just a few, Susan. Just a few. I got so many problems. Okay. Let's look at these real quick and see. Let, let me let you see. I'm probably not getting rid of any of these. This is my um, Tarte Amazonian Clay and Seduce. I also have the Tarte in Blissful and Captivating. I love the formula of these, but, you know, three is enough for any one person. I don't need five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. You know, you get my point. Um, I have this Sigma blush, and I think it came in a box. Like, I forget what one, but I think, I'm pretty sure I got this in a box. And it's called Pet Name. It's a light peach. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's just my kind of blush. Then I have a, a Guerlain. Um, this is kind of like a quad. So this is a... Bronzer, highlighter, contour, blush. Uh, I have an ambient lighting powder from Hourglass in Diffuse Light. Because they know I have a lot of shit. You don't have to tell me. I have MAC um, Bronzer Gimme Sun. This is a staple. If you don't have Gimme Sun, you need Gimme Sun. It's important to have in your collection. I... <sighs> this is another setting powder in Medium Plus. This is primarily for the rest of my face. I put the light that I showed you before. This is my light mineralized skin finish Medium Plus. The light goes under my eyes. This is the rest of my face. Yes, I know I have a lot of stuff. Um, I have a couple of these uh, Super Shock Cheeks from ColourPop. This one is Might Be. I have another one over here somewhere. And this one is um, in Parasol. Okay, that one's like a little gold, like a rose. Well, that one's like a peachy gold. And they are, they've got that wet feel. Ugh, oh, they're just fabulous. This is this is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, I'm going to go through this, and it's going to be tough. Um, I'm not getting rid of any of this. I'm just addicted to it. Now, uh, this right here is the Marc Jacobs uh, setting powder. It reminds me of the NARS crystallized setting powder. Um, this is my airbrush flawless finish. I'm in 2 medium from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I've already hit pan on this. I need to buy a new one. I'm taking them out because they're really not MAC. This is my bronze, from the Bronze Goddess Collection. This is a luminizing powder. Yeah, luminizing powder in 01 Heat Wave. Heat Wave! You can see I've put a lot of use to that. Not particularly. And then this is my Sweet Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer infused with peach and sweet big cream. And who wants to mess that pretty palette up or that pretty pan up? Damn. Alright, let's I show you this gold bar. I have a Too Faced blush. I'm going to get rid of this because I never touch it. Sorry, Too Faced. 
I just don't touch it. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is I have some kind of limited edition things. I showed you my, I showed you my um, Mariah Carey. There's some Mac. I'm a Mac collector and have been for many years. Um, this is from the. Uh, does it say what line it was in? I can't remember. It was a summer line. It's the Oh My Passion Pearl Matte Face Powder. And it's like a bronze with flowers. It's beautiful. I'm not going to mess that up. This was in... This is a pearl matte face powder as well in Trophy. Um, I forget what the name of this collection was. But it's bowling ball and bowling pins. So cute! Um, there's not many others I don't use. I have the one from Trolls. I got it because it was on clearance at the Mac store. Um, I have used it before. It is a good, uh, you know, you can do like a, a subtle highlight with it. You could almost do an all over your face with it if you don't mind a little bit of a glow. It's called Play It Proper Beauty Powder. And then this was a holiday collection. It's called the Yum Yum Magic Dust Powder. This is, ooh, it's going to get broken. This is more like a blush for sure. So, that is definitely a blush for me. I, I like blush, but I don't like it. Do you just see that I'm wearing blush? Does that make any sense? I don't think so, but that's really the truth. Um, then I have an NC20. This is like a... I use it as a setting powder. It's really a powder foundation. What do they call it? They call it the Select Sheer Press Powder, but... Can you tell I got a lot of stuff? Um, I showed you that. This is another thing I got in a hot... Oh, alright, so I probably won't use this. This was in a holiday collection, I believe, last year. This is Whisper of Guilt. It's... Although, they may have come back with Whisper of Guilt in in the line. So this is a beautiful highlighter. Like everybody, the year this came out, this was the Nutcracker series. They, one of these combos was with Whisper of Guilt and everybody was fighting for it. Um, I have this in Oh Darling. It's another, um, highlight. I do much better with my skin tone with gold highlights than I do with anything. Just look better on my skin. This is soft and gentle. I use this as a highlight as well. Just a different kind of glow. Soft and general is another staple. It's a MAC staple. Like if if it just goes with it, it just goes perfectly with any anybody's skin. I think um, I've never seen it look bad on anybody that I knew was wearing it. Let's see. I'm trying to make it. So, this is... I think I talked about this already. This is my Warm Rose. I also use that as a setting powder. Do I have any other MAC products sitting on the table? Please stand up. I don't think so. Let's see if I can get something else in with this. Maybe I can put my Charlotte in there. Good. At least I can get one thing in. Um, and then the last thing I have that I haven't showed you guys is two, it's, it's not the last thing I have. I'm telling a story. I'm going to be back in another minute with some more stuff. But these are the loose bronzer, I mean loose highlighters from, um, this was the, the Shayla collection with Colourpop. One is in Pose and one is in Boomin. So I have not tried these yet. I really should try them. So, I'm going to put this in the drawer, and I'll be right back. I do have other stuff. Okay, everybody. So, I I went in my backup drawer. And I'm I, there's one thing I can't find. I'm not quite sure where it is. And then I have some other setting powders around my desk. And we won't even talk about this because I have way too much. So, I, I did buy this translucent banana from Milani. I have not opened it yet. Just because I heard good things about it. Um, oftentimes... I will buy a set from ColourPop, and it'll come with um, some 
some blushes, and some highlighters. So I have a lunch money, I have a showtime, I have thimble, and I have a double down. Those are all ColourPop. ColourPop. And then I have another girl in. This is like the classic girl in. Um, bronzer. This is the terracotta. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I bought this after I started using that little girl in palette, which I bought when I first started my YouTube channel. Um, I bought this because that bronzer is absolutely gorgeous. It's fabulous. So I was like, of course I have to have a backup. Um, and then I have the uh, Wet n Wild a loose, mm, loose Highlighting Powder in, what's it called? Mega Glow something. Oh, this is called Moon Tears. Like, everybody was fighting to get this. So when I saw this at the store, of course, it said I have to have it because everybody wants it. So why wouldn't I have it, right? Right. And I know I have some more things, but they're everywhere. Um, we're gonna leave it at that. My desk is a little ooky. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's in here for face? So I, you, know, you guys know what I have in my pan and all that other stuff. So sorry. I've t obviously talked a little bit too much. So, that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching! See you next time. Mwah.